Yo, what's popping? Taking a look at the Summer Showdown tournament picture with these this week's upcoming matches. Very interesting matches, or even just maps. There are some very interesting maps that will decide pretty dramatically who is going to make it in and who doesn't. Um, so I'm going to look at NA first because it's a little bit more interesting. So starting off with the Paris Eternal. Paris play Florida and New York. And you think, well, why would that matter? Those teams are both like one and three. Shouldn't matter. Here's the thing, it actually does. So unless Paris makes an upset and beats them, which it doesn't look like they would, but those teams are definitely Paris upset level. So there is a chance there. But Paris should lose those matches. I'll get into if they actually win either of them. I'll talk about that later. But starting off with these. Now, the problem with this is this would put both Florida and New York at two and three. And they play each other. So that puts one of Florida or New York at three, three, which in this current economic status of the standings is good enough for a tournament spot, right? Even though it doesn't feel like either of these teams should have anywhere near a right to make it the tournament, they just do. Um, it doesn't really matter which. I don't know if you want to believe more in the Axie Flora or if you want to believe in Florida doing the weird double flex support stuff doesn't really matter for anyone else, just these two teams are going to duke it out and decide the last match of the stage, of the regular stage. Um, I'm going to put it as New York for now, but it, again, it doesn't really matter. I guess Florida technically have better... That nah, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put New York there. So um, that basically guarantees one of those teams, which feels weird. So that means one of London Spitfire, Atlanta Rain, or LA Gladiators isn't making it. Or two of them. Only one of them is making it. And the rest of the teams above them, they're pretty much locked in. Like, technically, they're not statistically, but, like, realistically, they are. So let me talk about now the Atlanta Rain and the LA Gladiators, which is the first one of NA, which is going to be crazy. So, basically, Gladiators need to win this, not 3-2, because Atlanta is still ahead of them in the standings if it's 3-2. They need to win this 3-1 or 3-0. And... Atlanta's look pretty good, so that might be a bit of a tall order, but it's definitely doable. That's doable for, for the Gladiators. However, there's also just think of, well, if Atlanta get in, Atlanta make it, they're just in, pretty much. Um, maybe not, because you do have the line of Spitfire, so have a match to play, but relative to, like, realistically, they should be in. Um, but first, or not first, maybe rather after, I will look at Toronto Spitfire, or the London... London versus Toronto, however. So basically, if London win this, oh, they knock out New York. Oh, maybe I'm trolling. Never mind. I am trolling. But they probably shouldn't, right, based on how Toronto's been playing. Now, there is a chance they do. And it is a match that is worth looking at because, you know, London could upset Toronto. But realistically, unless London do win this, and it has to be a 3-0, for this to actually matter, right? Or wait, no, I'm looking the wrong way. Hold on. No, just a 3-2 is good enough. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, so that so that will get London in if they win, basically. However, another reason why this match is important, let's say the Gladiators do win 3-1. If this is a 3-2, London is still ahead of them. So for the Gladiators' success right now, even a 3-1, the Gladiators are still ahead of them. Well, unless it's a 3-0. So the path of success for Gladiators is beat Atlanta at least 3-1. If it's 3-1, then you then you have to hope that... Wait, what? Oh, this doesn't take into account tiebreakers. I don't know who wins that tiebreaker. I, I'm going to take a look. Okay, so I've quickly looked at the tiebreaker for this. Unless I'm mistaken, it should be... Here, I can actually look. Unless I'm mistaken... Um, this would be equal in some cases, and these don't matter because the qualifying matches, I believe, would only include the matches played within the Summer Showdown qualifiers. So then it would go to Strength of Victory, which, unless I'm mistaken, um, using this, I don't know how well this is translating out. Yeah, okay. Um, for London, this would be Boston plus Houston which is probably like a five, assuming that Houston is able to beat Washington. So it's a, it's a, it's a five or four, four or five. Uh, and then for Gladiators, it is a zero, assuming that Paris loses. And, um, and then uh, two. So this will go to London. 
So basically, this this number for gladiators needs to be higher for the Spitfire. So they need if they three one Atlanta, they need a three zero from Defiant to get in, or if they three zero Atlanta, a three one is good enough for Defiant. So that's basically what that means. So if you're interested in the path of victory for the Glads, which a lot of people are, because like gladiators don't feel like a team that should be out of the tournament, but then again, neither do Atlanta Rain, right? Well, kind of. Atlanta Rain kind of deserve it because they. It's not even like a schedule thing. They just sucked at the at the first start. Um, I don't know. It's not nah, that's not what's important. What's important is who gets in, not how. Basically. So, what does this actually mean? Because wait, let me look at the other NA matches. Basically, you have three two up here, or however you want. It doesn't really matter for anyone. Um, this one doesn't really matter for anyone either. And this one also doesn't really matter for anyone. So yeah, I've talked to all the ones that matter, whether it's it's basically just these ones, just the three that matter, including the Paris matches. If Paris gets the upset, this, this whole thing changes. Because let's say Paris gets an upset here, um, on if it's on New York, then suddenly, then suddenly you get two teams getting in, and it's probably it's the team of the winner of this one plus London is who gets in. Or well, unless you know this is a three two or something, and then. Gladiators also don't get in and still win. It's complicated because there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of like this map record is very very stingy. But um, assuming that Paris, you know, do their losing, like they should, the matches to watch out for are Atlanta Gladiators and then Toronto Spitfire and then New York Florida. Um, even if we know the outcome of this, even if Atlanta do get in. Uh, it's still London is still impactful just be, just if they win they'll, they'll be able to get in but that's about it yeah that's about it so I've done it eh hopefully that was somewhat comprehensive or like understanding because like it, there's so many moving parts I can't I can't break it down like totally um well let me get my spark hat on <laughs> we're going for the APAC. so What's going on in APAC? There are a lot of teams still in contention. Basically, the only teams that are not in it are Valiant and Dynasty Dragons. So, looking at the matches that matter. Assuming that Hunters are able to beat the Chargers, because it looks like they should. Hunters should, should get in pretty pretty comfortably, because there are other matches against the Valiant. right? So, Hunters should get in pretty comfortably, I would think. Um, unless Charge do manage to get an upset, even then... It still looks decent for the hunters. So I'm gonna make this like a three-one maybe or something for now. Um, now going to the charge. Of course, they have to beat the hunters or they can't get in. Basic. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. That remove that from your mind. Um, even if they lose to the hunters, this match against the spark is hugely impactful for who gets in. Like, this is this is a key determinant between these two teams. That's what's separating them. And even then, Spark just still have to go against Philly, which is not, it's not crazy. Um, but right there, that match is the first match on day three this week for APAC, or day two, first match on day two, uh, will determine if Charge can still get in. If Charge get this win, there's still a chance for them. Um, however, they basically get in, actually, if they beat that match. Like, realistically, unless you think that Philly's going to upset Seoul, which we, I guess we've seen. We've seen that happen, that exact scenario happen last stage, where Philly upset Seoul, and then that happened out of nowhere. Because it's Philly. But I don't think they have the same potential right now when they're playing Fury and Carpe, specifically. So I'm going to say that's probably a 3-0 for the Dynasty. So how does Philly get in if they lose to the Dynasty? Well, even if they beat Spark, you can see... Spark have to beat Charge. So if you're a Philly fan, what you're looking for is you're looking for Spark to beat Charge, and then you're looking to beat Spark. And it, it kind of has to be good too, because if it's a three-one, you don't you have the three-zero Spark. So it's looking really quite bad if you're Philly, like like quite bad. Um, there this there that's their only real shot of getting in. And that relies on you playing well and Spark 
I'm playing well against Charge. So I don't know if that is a 3 0. So, what I'm trying to say about APAC is um, the matches between those teams are very impactful. Basically, Charge Spark, um, Fusion Spark. That's really it. Because unless you unless you think that there's going to be some upsets going on, which of course there there will be. Um, another interesting match to watch will be Shanghai Seoul, but not for the actual playoff picture or the tournament picture, just for standings, basically. Because one of them's going to be on top, and one of them's inside their other guys. So it doesn't matter too much. So what do I think is going to happen? I think I I would like to say that Spark get in. I th I'd like to say that they they hobble over the finish line barely. But who knows? I'd like to see Charge get in, too. I'd like to see Philly not make it, to be honest. I don't think they deserve it at all. But, I don't know. This is a, it's a little bit of a weirder video, but I just want to highlight some of the important games, I guess. It was, it was the main goal, and highlight the important games and why. And I hope I did that at least a little bit well. But um, this is also not what I think is going to happen here. I'll make a prediction video, and then I'll show what that looks like at the end of the prediction video on, like, Thursday, whenever I get my thoughts in order. Um... So yeah, let me know your thoughts, I guess. Uh, like to me if you like it, subscribe for more daily overseas content. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a good one. Deuces.